Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And today I want to talk about disaster recovery with Azure SQL Data Warehouse. And to begin, I really want to talk about a feature that was released with Gen 2 of Azure SQL Data Warehouse called Geo Backup Policy. And so we see on this screenshot here of my configuration of an Azure SQL Data Warehouse, I have uh, a menu uh, shown here for the Geo Backup Policy. And my selection there says that it's enabled, but I don't really have the choice of turning this on and off. Uh, and so this is something that, that is turned on by default and cannot be turned off with Gen 2. And what Geo Backup Policy does for us is that it's going to automatically create backups of our Azure SQL Data Warehouse to storage in a different region or in a region other than where our data warehouse is hosted. Now it's important to understand that if I'm still using a Gen 1 Azure SQL Data Warehouse, I can opt out of this feature but by default this feature will be turned on. So if I create a new Gen 1 data warehouse, it will have this geo backup policy enabled automatically. And we'll see there in the notes that I've highlighted, what this really means is that my backups are automatically taken and stored in um, the other set or the other region in a, in a region pair. And what a region pair is, I'm showing this on the, this next screenshot here, is Microsoft has uh, created these these pairings of regions. So for example here, uh, if I have a data warehouse hosted in East US, its backups are going to be taken and then stored, uh, the geo backups I should say, are stored in West US. Now this is a partial list of these region pairings. The full list is available on Microsoft's website, but it kind of gives you an idea of where your, your uh, geo replicas will be stored. The idea here really is that each of the the regions in a pair are generally more than 300 miles apart from each other. There are a few exceptions. Uh, but the idea here, of course, is that any uh, any outage that's impacting your your home region, if you will, should not impact the, the geo replica region. So that's the idea with these paired regions. Now, a couple of interesting points about the, the geo backups. The geo backups are only performed once per day. And so I don't want to get this confused with the, the backups that are happening on the, the original or the, or the local copy, if you will. Those are still happening via snapshots throughout the day. Uh, and so that's more frequently, but it's really the, the geo backup that's done just once per day. In the event that I do need to do a restore, I can restore that geo backup to any other region that supports my, the Azure SQL Data Warehouse product. So I, I'm not limited to restoring it to the paired region that Microsoft has determined for me. So I can, again, take that back up and restore it anywhere I want. And the other point that I want to make here is that the solution that I'm talking about here with the backups is not a high availability or an automatic failover type solution. Okay, So this is a lot different than some of the features we have available uh, for redundancy, if you will, and high availability with Azure SQL Database. And so this is not any type of uh, synchronous replication or and there's no automatic failover to point to the to the backup data center or anything like that this is strictly a, a backup process so this was a really interesting feature of azure sql data warehouse gen 2 with the geo backup policy that i thought was interesting to share if you have any questions about this disaster recovery in azure sql data warehouse or any other azure data topics please reach out let us know thank you